Well, hello everyone, we are Pandora Bots. Thank you for choosing us and warm welcome to your fourth tutorial in chatbot development with Pandora Bots API. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about two remaining API methods, talk and eTalk. I have created a demo PDF. I'm gonna put the link in the description so that you could refer it. Let's begin with the talk. So there are two ways of talking to your bot, uh, either with the combination of app ID, user key, or through the public bot key. So for the app ID user key combination, it's gonna work something like this. So it's gonna be host name followed by talk, followed by your app ID, your bot name, and the user key. Also, we have to talk to your bot, so we have to provide the input text for this. In case if you're gonna miss any of the uh, syntaxes, then it's gonna give you error for request malformed. So make sure you have a correct syntax. I have the URL with my own credentials, so I'm going to copy this and let's head to Postman. Note that uh, the talk and a talk method is going to be of post type in the URL. I'm going to paste it over here. So note that I'm talking, I'm talking to my John bot with my app ID and user key, and my input is going to be of the type hi. So let's and and let's see what it generated. Well, it generated Namaste. Um, that's a good part. So uh, if I have to demonstrate how does it work with the bot key, then I'm just going to copy it with my credentials. And let's head back to Postman. And let me delete this URL and paste my one here so it's going to be talk through bot key and my input id i'm an input text so let's hit send perfect it worked and it uh, gave us 200 okay that's a good part okay now working with a talk so what exactly is a talk well a talk stands for anonymous talk uh, it would be better if I show you the example first and how then you would understand how does it differ with uh, talk So the a talk function uh, The URL would be something like hostname followed by a talk followed by your app ID your bot name your user key and then your input text uh, I'm going to provide my input text as something like my name is John. So let me copy this a talk URL Head back to postman and paste the url here okay so this is my app id my user key are all set i'm talking i'm uh, anonymously talking to john bot and let's hit send so along with status and responses and session id it generated client name so let me copy this so what exactly is a client name this will introduce a new AIML tag. So to demonstrate that tag, I have generated a demo file under AIML, the client name demo.aml. I'll also keep this link in the description. So uh, my pattern is something like my name is star. So it would keep uh, the template something like I'll remember your name and it would set a variable called name. Note that this would introduce learn tag. So with the learn tag, what you can do is you can integrate category inside category. However, the learn category would be fired when you are talking to the same client name. For example, if my name is set to John, then this inside category would only be, uh, you know, uh, in the in the play when the client name is uh, with the pattern John. So to demonstrate this, uh, let's uh, head back to our PDF so that it would give you a client name and note that to generate the client name, we are generating it with a talk. However, if we are if we want to talk it to our bot, then we would uh, use the talk functionality. Then we will go here and we will paste the URL. Also note that we have given the client name here. So 
and again the client name should be four because we have generated the four so we have set the name to john and let's see how it's going to react to it so it says your name is john and what if we do not provide a client name so it would return i have no answer for that so the client name is basically the optional field but it would give a better user experience so uh, client name is uh, a good to have again there is an extra flag so what exactly is extra flag so if you are doing some hardcore coding and you want a metadata of your request then we would set extra tag as true there are other bunch of tags uh, which would be on the uh, on the accounts page so if you are willing to do something more then you can go and uh, take a look at that so for the extra tag i would just put the uh, url here and let's hit the send so it would generate the metadata of your response that's uh, good to have so this uh, tutorial basically explains the difference between talk and e-talk we learned about the new tag called learn and uh, i'm going to end this tutorial right here so thank you guys for watching keep liking keep commenting keep sharing above all keep loving pandora bots